Welcome to the In Full Swing YouTube channel, and this is The Rumor Mill. Hello everybody, and welcome back to In Full Swing. Connor here, hope you're doing fantastic and well, hope you're having a great evening and a great morning. And I'm back with episode 6, and we are back with some more transfer news. Guys, the subscriptions are going up, I have hit 2,000 subscribers. Thank you so, so much to every single one of you. I'm pointing down the lens now. Every single one of you. And I will try repay you with everything. You know, I've bought a new camera because some of you guys initially were saying that, you know, the camera quality wasn't good. I went and did that. I've got some other technical equipment. We've got some lights here that I've gone out and bought myself as well. We've got um, a stand coming, so don't worry. You'd have to see this in my hand much longer, and I'm sure you guys will love that. We've got another thing coming as well, which I know you guys will you, you guys will love, which is going to help with the lighting as well. So this is all what I'm doing to try and appease you guys for having the faith to follow me because it means that much, and I'm repaying that. Other channels don't do that, but I'm doing that. Because I feel it, I feel it's worth it. I feel it's worth it. I will invest to keep you guys happy. That's what I feel. So here we are. The Facebook page, I think we're on about 107 followers now from about 40 yesterday. So thank you so much. There's already people posting in there. I'll try post there every day. But as I've said before, your rumours, anything you can get together, your thoughts on Leeds United, I'll respond. And I know everybody in this community, we're trying to build an info swing community. I know everybody will respond because there's a lot of people with a lot of intelligence, people who can articulate their thoughts and people who have got well-rounded opinions on this wonderful football club. So here we go, guys. This is you're in full swing episode six now a little bit of rumors today patrick eris um now uh, this is a person who i've not mentioned a football player who I haven't mentioned but this is an individual who's been linked with leads for a good two or three weeks now patrick eris plays a dm he can play as a dm he can play as a central midfielder but naturally he normally fronts up uh, sort of as a back two in the centre half position, either left or right. He's 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 ambidextrous with ambidextrous with both feet. Sorry, very good on either. And I think Leeds were interested because of his versatility, because he's able to play anywhere along that back four and uh, just in front of the defence as well. A little bit of a um, a little bit of a Gerard PK. You saw that you saw him doing that towards the back end of his career. But listen. Today, um, I believe about seven or eight hours ago, he was signed by Werder Bremen from Nuremberg, Nuremberg. So that's a big signing and, and, and apparently snubbed a move to Leeds, according to Sports Witness. Whether or not that's a official source or not, who knows, but Werder Bremen seemed to have acquired that man's uh, signature. The next one is Danny Loder, the ex, well, the actual, the current Reading midfielder. Danny Loder, 35 caps and two goals as a striker, only a young lad. Actually played at Ellen Road and was 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 technically very, very good on the ball. You know, obviously we know Leeds are looking at the youngsters. We've looked at the youngsters for years. Alfie McCalmont, Robbie Gotts, um, uh, uh, Bogus, you know, we're very keen on the youngsters. So I would not be surprised if Leeds United went for another youngster but, you know, with who we are bringing at this moment in time, it looks like McGurk and Gelhard from Wigan. I wouldn't rule this one completely out, but it looks like the youngsters that we are signing this year is going to lead with the uh, Wigan transfers. Two coming in from there, apparently, in McGurk and Gelhard, and I'd stay tuned to them more than Danny Loder. But in England International, apparently a very good player, very highly rated as well. So keep tuned on that one. Who knows? Leeds United might be in the running for the Reading centre forward. I don't really know why... Um, <clears throat> Especially with the likes of Gelhard coming in, dubbed the next Wayne Rooney. Who knows? Don't shoot me down for that. It's what I've seen online. But are we going to be going in for another centre forward? Another centre forward who's not really proven himself. Obviously, Gelhard, when he's been coming off the bench for Wigan, has looked absolutely exquisite. He's looked absolutely fantastic, you know. Um, very, very good player. Someone who I've I've looked at and thought mm, he would fit in. He really, really would fit in. So, yeah, um, we'll, we'll have to wait and see on that one. But Danny Loder, I'm not 100% sure. Now, this is another rumour which I've been sent through actually on Instagram. I apologise to the individual who sent me this through. But a certain publication is reported that it's been reporting that apparently Leeds have agreed terms with Edouard at Celtic. The 26-year-old is set to, um, actually he's not 26 year old, he's a little bit younger, is set to sign apparently for £26 million. Pounds. A bid has been accept accepted and apparently he will travel to Leeds on Friday. So who knows if this is true. I believe it was an ITK 
agent, which sometimes they're right, sometimes they're not. 60% of the time, they are wrong, but 40% of the time, you know, they've got some things right. I remember reading on the John Swift transfer to um, Sheffield United, an ITK account actually called that, an ITK account, K account, sorry, that I do follow, got that spot on about three or four days beforehand, then the news broke. So yeah, don't get me wrong, you can hammer a lot of them, because a lot of them are fake and phonies and frauds, but... A lot, some of them are right and bang on the money, money, and 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 apparently this individual is saying that we are, we've actually and agreed a transfer with Edward. Obviously, there has been reports for months and months that we've been interested in um, Asan Edward. So whether or not that's going to come to the fore, I know he wants to move on, but what a terrific signing that would be. Could it be Waffle? Yes. Would I be chuffed? Yes. Watch this space. Yes. <laughs> but uh, listen, Eddie is absolutely prolific, and he's going to be the new Erdy, 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 if he does sign on. But yeah, 100%, what a brilliant signing he would be. Next on the transfer mill is Jose Campana. Now, the ex-Crystal Palace man is playing in La Liga with Levante and has got some caps under his belt. The central midfielder is a little bit of a journeyman at the age of 27, has been playing football for a long, long time, it seems, since he was 17 in the professional game. A very, very decent player, technically gifted, workhorse as well, which I think... Marcelo Bielsa, once again, that's where the link is going to happen. If he's a workhorse, if he can work within a team, if he's collaborative with other members of his team, if he can come in and technically give the team a boost and a positive, then Marcelo Bielsa and Victor Orta are probably going to look at him. Orta with the Spanish links as well. Who knows? That could be a signing, but there is a publication this morning reporting that it is us and Arsenal looking at him. So... Whether or not that is fabricated, whether or not that is true, who knows? But it is a rumour. It is a rumour that is a bit left field. And when there is a left field rumour, I always look at it and think, hmm, maybe that could be true. Because, you know, if you're going to turn around and say Leeds are after um, Lionel Messi, we're going to be turning around thinking, I don't think so. But then, to be fair, people were turning around and saying we're after Cavani and we all we all expected that one to go through, didn't we? Um, us being the uh, better option uh, to uh, Benfica. But unfortunately, that didn't um, progress. The next signing that we are looking at is a bit of a, it's a Vanarama non-league. It is Ethan Chislett. Now, Ethan Chislett is an older shot town football player and midfielder, and we naturally get linked to a lot of conference uh, talent. Obviously, with scouts across the country with Leeds United, um, we're in every ember and facet of this country. So whether or not that's going to come through, I'm not 100% sure uh, it could come through. Listen, it's only one publication we've seen. I believe it's Sports Witness, but if Leeds have got scouts there watching Ethan consistently, you would expect him to be signed to the ranks pretty soon with the club, a Premier League club, a Marcelo Bielsa club coming in for you. I feel the non-league will uh, be, a, be, a, be a short-term thing for Ethan. Van Rama style, and um, we, yeah, as I've said, we get these every window, don't we? But the next one, and probably the last one that I'm going to finish on, guys, as I throw my phone with all my notes onto my bed, is Solly March. Now, I used to love Solly March. I thought he was a brilliant player, quick. Once again, as I always say, pragmatic, dynamic, very good at working back. Always used to help Bruno from the right-hand side at Brighton. Used to work on both wings as well. Left, right, very versatile. Could play as a bit of a shadow striker. A cam, I saw him playing multiple times as well. But an out-and-out -out winger. And whether or not Bielsa looks at him and thinks he could develop him. But it looks like we'll be able to get him for 15 million. I look at 15 million for Solly March and I think, wow. Maybe that is a bit too much money because he's been out of their sort of starting plans for many, many months now. Uh, but it looks like it is Leeds and Everton who are in for the, 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 the well, the Brighton man. Um, so whether or not we can get that over the line, I think he'd bring a lot of dynamism to the Leeds United front line. But whether or not he's got the experience in the Premier League recently, being sort of cast out by Brighton. So we'll have to wait on, well, we'll sort of wait and see on that one, really. But that's it, really, guys. Jonathan David, obviously, is consistently rumbling on in the background. And for me, it's going to be Biel. Ben White and Jonathan David. I think they're going to be the first three. The first three that we want as well. And what three signings they would be. They'd be absolutely superb. So guys, as I've said, if you haven't, follow the Facebook page for a little bit more interaction. I'm always on there 24-7 as well. Make sure you like and you're liking the videos. I mean, a lot of you are. You know, thank you so much for the support. We've got some, we've got a great recording that I'm doing um, tomorrow, which I know a lot of you will like. It's a big name. Uh, so stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you subscribe with the notification bell or like the video as well, guys. And I'll see you in a bit. Cheers for watching, guys. Have an absolutely fantastic day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.